Hamilton. Uh, just for the record, your name and title? Michael Groffenberger, Vice President of Operations. Could you just spell your last name for me? G-R-O-F-F-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R. So I imagine, you know, like any business is so close to what's now referred to as the crime scene, you had to make a decision about whether to open or not. What sort of uh, decision making went into that? Well, uh, you know, when I spoke to the owner of the company this morning, David Walker, uh, we had the discussion that it was to show solidarity and to show that we can return to normal and that um, uh, we won't be scared of uh, uh, doing uh, our day-to-day -day jobs and showing up to work and uh, I think that's the, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about revenge and a lot of people talk about what they, you know, they want to find the people and that's, that's absolutely true and it's, uh, uh, it brings peace to a lot of people and the victims that, that um, of, of this tragedy, but I think the most important thing is that we demonstrate to whoever perpetrates crimes like this that no matter what, you can't break the resolve of our city, of our state, and of our country. And um, uh, for us, that was the, the, the major point today. Did you, I'm sure you also weighed security concerns, safety concerns, I mean, how much are they still weighing on you right now? Uh, absolutely, I mean, security concerns are very important, but at the same time, uh, if we, if, again, if we sat back and said we're afraid to open for security reasons, I mean, we're, we have uh, security personnel, we have uh, a great staff of talented people that have worked in our industry for years, and they're very capable of, um, uh, of handling something like this. And, uh, you know, the most important thing was, yeah, we did have concerns, but we wanted to be open because, not because of, you know, uh, we were interested in doing business, but because we were interested in showing both uh, the people on our street, I mean, this is a great street in Boston, and the people of our neighborhood, the Back Bay, which has been affected by this, that we can return to normal and that we can, we remain part of the neighborhood, and, and we're going to be here just like the people who live here, because ultimately the Back Bay is our home. And uh, there are hundreds of thousands of people who live in the Back Bay that call it home. We call the Back Bay, Shreve Crump Mo calls the Back Bay home, and, uh, and we needed to be here because of that. And finally, this is your home, it's my home too, and I'm sure you look at the city a bit differently today than you did yesterday. Is there, you know, just personally, is there an ache? I mean, how do you feel about your city now that it's been violated in this way? I, I feel, uh, it's, it's hard to put it to words. I had the most emotional ride in this morning uh, into the city, um, and uh, I think for me, it, the most the most challenging thing was thinking about how such a happy event for so many people was turned into such a tragedy. But the way that I feel today about Boston is that we'll come back stronger than ever. And next year, as a tribute to the victims and the, the, the people who were part of this tragedy, uh, I, I hope that the Boston Marathon is the, the biggest marathon in the history in, in its 120-year history. And I hope that more people running run it, and I hope it inspires people to get out and to be part of the community. And I think that the fact that Back Bay is such a wonderful community and Boston is such a wonderful city, that I, I feel better today about our city and the, the way that the first responders reacted and the people running into danger. Um, that's a mark of, of, of our city and of our country. And um, you wake up sometimes on these mornings feeling with, with uh, an enormous sense of loss, but you ultimately feel like, the reason that uh, we will prevail is because we are uh, a great, a great city and a great country. Okay, I almost forgot to ask you about hanging the flag, which we captured on camera. Um, what was the thinking behind that gesture this morning? You know, uh, my first reaction was I wanted to show people uh, that you know uh, uh, we're all part of one big community, no matter how big this country is. I mean, uh, the outpouring of support. What inspired me was we do business with people all over the world. Uh, uh, in Switzerland and in uh, Germany and in, uh, uh, in New York and other places and between yesterday and today hundreds of emails have uh, flocked into our store people saying are you okay is everyone okay uh, they know this area they come visit us and uh, first I wanted to show people we were okay but secondly I wanted to show people that it, it's bigger there's so much uh, that the whole country is so big and we have to we have to take pride yesterday was Patriots Day you know, and uh, I wanted to show that patriotism and show the belief in the fact that we are stronger today than we'll ever be and uh, that we can rise up from challenges like this and, and continue to grow. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, it's a nice pleasure. Yeah.